What's up, guys? We are Sight After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York, your new favorite band. I'm C for Graffiti. I'm Dan Berg. Check out our latest music. And check us out reacting to Chalk Taw Bingo by James McMurdy, suggested by our patron, Paul Yos. Shout out to you, Paul. Guys, you can head on over to Patreon, subscribe for as little as a dollar a month, and get in on telling us what to react to. Thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> All right. We'll start this next set with a song about the North Texas, Southern Oklahoma crystal methamphetamine industry. Caliber made by badass Hebrews and some surf 
ruthless tracers for that old B.A.R. of Slayton's. Soon as it gets dark, we're gonna have us a time. We're gonna have us a time. Have us a time. That's a fun song. It was. So, James, is Crystal Meth a good time or a bad time? Because you, you're clearly advocating for it. I mean, who who doesn't advocate for Crystal Meth these days? You Fishing, already... drinking, music, driving, hopping kids up on Benadryl. I mean, Moonshine is overrated, so it's like, why not spend your money and get a better bang for your buck? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can go to the store and get alcohol. Like, why do, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, why do I got to get some illegal alcohol when I can get some illegal other shit? Exactly. That I can't get at the store. Exactly. Unless you buy a lot of Sudafed. That's true. 
But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put a light bulb right there, right when you say that. Like, oh, right. <laughs> That's why they limit how much Sudafed you can buy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean the story was fun. Uh, musically, you know, it was pretty straight up, you know, blues. It didn't really like blow me away. It, just, it was no electric light orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, but no, it was a fun song. Uh-huh. Um, I really like um, the video. Shout out to Paul for sending us this link because the video really made it more yeah. of like an interactive experience. Like I, you know, obviously the descript the lyrics were so descriptive, and it was you know that he really has been to these places because mm-hmm. of all these details. Like oh, the McDonald's that's built on the bridge over the overpass, like all that shit. Like you know he's really been here. Right. But it's like seeing it also helps us visualize it. Totally different experience when you see it. Yeah. yeah. And that was awesome. That was cool. That Desert Eagle man, that is huge. Those Hebrews know how to make some weapons. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They've been through a lot. <laughs> but man, um, it was interesting seeing, yeah, all the sites all around the country areas of America. I love the guitar solo. And like you said, it was pretty straightforward. But it's one of those formulas that always, always flushes out, right? Yeah. So, you There's know. a reason why it's still used so much. Mm-hmm. You know, people don't do blues solos and blues songs so much because it's not fun to listen to. <laughs> I hate it. No. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Nobody who's who likes blues music. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was just fun. It was interesting. I mean, I don't. This is it's so interesting to me because you know I don't really I'm not familiar with this area of the country at all. I mean, I know you were just in Texas for a while. Yeah. But I've never been to Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, like any of this. So it's all it's almost like a different world to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty dry, but pretty much like that. I just want to say, I won a fox fur stole. In a bingo game, okay? It was real. A what? A fox stole, like. Was that a scarf? Like, no, like you know, like the the fur thing that the, the old ladies wear, and it's got the little tails at the bottom of it. They put it oh. over the dress, like you know, if they wear a nice, they're going to a nice event. Yeah. They're not gonna wear a coat. The the stole is just about. It's like a shawl. It's a oh. shawl, but it's fur. Okay. I want that. In Texas? No, 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 not in Texas. I was like 15, and oh. my sister was in this fashion show, and it was like a, a, a good fashion show, and then they played bingo. Was just, it Choctaw cho- cho- bingo? No, it was uh, more like, you know, 34th Street, Harold Square bingo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so not Taw bingo. Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about your bingo wins in the comments. <laughs> Tell us what the best thing you ever won in a bingo game was. I don't think I've ever won a bingo game. <laughs> I was, I was so shocked. I'm a fucking loser, guys. Because they make you play it as kids, you know, yeah. with like older people and yeah. stuff. And you're just like, click, click, click. And then I was like 15 and I was like, you're like, wait, bingo. <laughs> yeah. I once thought that I won mm-hmm. and I made a whole scene because I was like, bingo. And then they were like, no, we didn't call this one. I was like, my bad. Were and you like, in your face? It- <laughs> I was pretty excited. I don't think I did that. But then literally the next turn, somebody actually did win. I was like, fuck. Exactly. You gotta give them the hate eyes. Yeah, so, you know, if I was on meth, I probably would have won. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I wasn't, unfortunately. Um, but shout out to the, all the Choctaw bingo players out there. Shout out to James. Tell us more about James McMurdy. I mean, based on, Mick, wait, McMurtry? McMurdy? Sorry. Tell us how to actually say it, too. Yeah. Um, and um, based on all the pictures, like, he's been in, you know, he's toured Europe and shit like that, so we must be, you know, pretty, he must have a pretty decent following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually thought he was a poet, because I was doing the, um, the thumbnails for this last night, and I took a picture of him, like, you know, somewhere in the middle of this song, doing, um, reading, and yeah. I was like, I thought that, and it said Choctaw Bingo, so I thought it was gonna be a poetic thing set to music about the plight of the Native American, but it wasn't. Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> But shout out to James, shout out to Paul for suggesting this, shout out to everyone on Patreon for making these videos possible, shout out to everyone watching on YouTube, we appreciate you, we're Side After Dark, we'll see you soon.